just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Washington Commanders. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Now the third-year man back and healthy. It's Javante Williams. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. To throw is Wilson. Short throw caught by Dulcich. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So for this defense, a tall order ahead trying to defend against Russell Wilson. Charles, your keys for how they might go about keeping him in check? Well, before we even get to the keys, let's start with the problems he presents because he feels pressure so well. He's got a great sixth sense, maybe even a seventh and eighth. He knows where the pressure's coming from. He knows how to slide away from it, sometimes run away from it, and then he finds good throwing lanes to deliver downfield. So to me, it's that pressure inside, big, tall guys to make him try and throw over them and make his height work against him. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. That one good for 26 and a first down. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. On first and 10, it's Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, OK, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, touchdown Broncos. Adam Troutman from six yards away. And the Broncos are on the board first here this afternoon. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0.
So Fry now, after the made field goal, he'll send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 27. Now Hal. That's Samuel caught left side. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hal, he'll look to throw it. And that's incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and it's second down. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Second down throw for Howell. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Five yards, now it's third and five. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And he finds McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. Antonio Gibson, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now the second year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Powell throwing on third down here. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 19. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Now throwing on first down here. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. They'll run for the first time with Antonio Gibson. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. throw it he's going to be sacked back at the 23 yard line now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts so as they take it over we step aside field goal unit and Joey Sly now this a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. 
Sly able to put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now Wilson on first down. Throw to the right, caught by Dulcich. Look at the big fella go. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. A huge play there for Denver and even 50 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Wilson. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and nine at the three-yard line. From the three, second and a yard. Here's Wilson. And yeah, this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Broncos will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Here's Fry now to send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get try to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now.
So now Fry back out following the score. He'll send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Out of the gun, it's Howell. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Now they go play action with Hal. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. Inside the 10, touchdown Washington! Terry McLaurin in the final seconds of the first half. And the Commanders are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Well, this could be a big turnaround. They get the touchdown here in the final moments of the second quarter. And remember, Charles, they're going to get the ball to start quarter number three as well. So what you're saying is if they take the ball down to start the second half and score again, it could change the entire complexion of this game, couldn't it? Absolutely. Six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. In motion left goes a tight end. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. So we come upon halftime with the visiting Broncos taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Howell and the Commanders come up now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he catches it off the tip. It wasn't even intended for him. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Powell out of the shotgun. And his throw is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. On second down, a run with Gibson. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Powell completes it to Samuel. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
But we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and six. Second down, Hal back to pass. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. A gain there of 21 yards. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Pal to the air on first and 10. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and two. Let's get it together, defense. Let's get it together. Second down. Hal now. He's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. First down, how to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Antonio Gibson, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. I give up the middle to Gibson. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. And it's caught on the deflection. And this is going to be a touchdown. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Hal throwing for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Slide out a kick off after the touchdown. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. This will be caught. Judy. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. 
Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. It'll be a gain of five. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing it up fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Here's Hal to throw on second down. Pass complete, Thomas. That gets him the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Hal. Oh, what a play by Dotson. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in what you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. Here's first and ten. Powell to throw. Over the middle, he gets it to Gibson. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeout. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Here comes second down. Back to throw. Back to Gibson and another catch for him. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. This is first and 10. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Back to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. 
And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. A bit of extra pressure now for this one on Joey Sly. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely I take a knee and let the clock run out because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And it'll be all smiles on Blake Street tonight. The Broncos have won it. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Landover.